The Supreme Court has refused to pass an interim order asking the Election Commission to disclose Booth-wise voter turnout data, a plea was filed by the Association for Democratic Reforms, which asked for the Election Commission to publish the station-wise voting data on its website within 48 hours of concluding the poll for each phase. The Supreme Court, while saying that they would like to have a hands-off approach while elections are ongoing, also questioned the timing of the petition. Ashmit joins us now with the latest. Ashmit, take us through what the court has said in this matter. Well, the big takeaway clearly is that the Apex Court not granting that interim relief that had been sought, not directing the Election Commission to start disclosing voter turnout data as per individual polling stations, saying that it will have a hands-off approach given that the elections are currently underway. Now, the Election Commission opened the arguments today, and with, even before going into the merits of the case, uh, they questioned the maintainability of such a petition, saying that the petitioners in question, that's Association for Democratic Reforms and Mahua Moitra, have a history of filing applications that seek to cause chaos and confusion with respect to the electoral process that the Supreme Court needs to send out a strong message by dismissing these applications outright. Uh, now, adding to these submissions, the Apex Court made some very pointed observations uh, aimed at the petitioners. Firstly, asking as to why this application filed in 2019 is being pressed now in 2024. Also raising the technical question that the interim relief that has been sought is the same as the final relief that has been sought and that that is not permissible even in public interest litigation. Also going on to say that the Election Commission of its own violation voluntarily Voluntarily does release voter turnout data on its own application. It may not be entirely accurate, but does give a broad trend as to the way things are headed and that this should, in fact, be welcomed by the petitioners. And finally, going on to say that some amount of trust does need to be reposed in the authorities and that the Apex Court will have a hands-off approach given that of the seven phases, five phases are already over, just two phases are left. So with that, the Apex Court uh, refusing that interim relief and saying that this application will ta uh, get taken up in due course and that's after the uh, summer vacations of the Apex Court. All right, Ashmit, many thanks. Now, 58 seats across 